to the 18th Sustainable Innovation Conference. So uh, uh, it, it's great to be here. And uh, before we start, I'd just like to say a few thank yous before we uh, kick off into the main program. So thank you firstly to the CFSD team and to UC Epsom. Epsom. Uh, UCM, Simon, who I'm sure will introduce this, has four campuses. This is one of the uh, key campuses. And the, uh, the team here, in terms of the technicians, catering, have been uh, incredibly helpful in bringing this event forward. We'd also like to thank uh, ISPIM and the Environmental uh, Sustainability Knowledge Network. And welcome to UCA, and welcome to our Epsom campus. Here at the University for the Creative Arts, we are delighted to be hosting this year's event, and hosting this event for the first time. We are delighted to have you with us here today and wish you an enjoyable and stimulating conference. Thank you very much. And cities are very important, or going to become increasingly important, because by 2050, 70% of the world's population will be in cities. Cities are hotbeds of environmental and social problems, but should also be catalysts <laughs> for new solutions. A, because they have you know, a strong purchasing power as public sector drivers, but also they have a proximity of key role players, entrepreneurs, finance, uh, technology providers. So if we design better systems to bring those role players together, it could be develop a better infrastructure to take those solutions forward. So essentially what we ended up doing is considering eco-industries as you know, all the activities, economic, socio-economic, as we've seen, you know, the social part also comes into it, activities that make this transition towards a green economy possible. So there's now a whole industry in cartridge remanufacturing and businesses whose sole purpose is to collect end-of-life printer cartridges, repair any parts that have become... Um, unusable and fill them up with toner and resell them. A study in the States actually shows that 30% uh, fewer cars were sold from 2007 to 2011. And the reason was because these millennials, they would rather share cars or <coughs> use car sharing services rather than own car. So there is definitely some changes going on. An island where traditionally living from fishery tourism uh, they had to reinvent themselves. So what they did was, they uh, Bonhoeff put uh, 100 people in a ferry, sailing around the island for two days to come up with a new mission. <laughs> and that uh, enabled me to have the resource through the Bay Trust to, to actually build that model of the Pines Cave conference venue, where we were firstly inspired by nature. Uh, I, I also saw this as an opportunity for actually uh, events like this to be held in inspiring places to help stimulate creativity and reconnect with nature in, 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 in its own beauty as well. And uh, we have nine acres around of surrounding organically managed gardens for this space to develop. Uh, and uh, breaking the rules. Uh, uh, and also the idea that external people help bring better ideas as we've heard this morning. Now, finally... Good thinking is hard. It's very hard to think clearly. But we can, by stepping back and looking at the whole picture and taking a systems view, make better decisions. What we do is that we collect peer groups of professionals working in the same field. Big companies, SMEs, startups. And we put them together to, to, to co-create new concepts, new ideas, new, new business models. So the concept is called WeHateToWaste.com. And what this is, is a global online community of people, like I bet everybody in this room, who hate to see things go to waste, and they know it. Going away from these single pot high-tech things, the woman said they wanted to cook three pots of food at the same time, and they wanted it stable. So we replaced the three stone fire with a three pot fire. And we used 70% less wood, and 90% less smoke. We've done a lot of work in trying to find synergies, and indeed, ideally speaking, one would want to make uh, new thought connections, if you like, to co conceptualise all the, all the possible links between things, so that you can get many, many... In this case, you've got eight starting points, which leads you to 28 synergies, 
at minimum. This was one of our first startups that we started um, in 2007. So the dance floor can become one big generator, turning every movement into new power. In fact, any vibrations we make can generate electricity. Even the rack of the tram taking you home at the end of the night. This is a company now, um, co-created by around 300 people, selling and renting out uh, energy generating floors in 70 countries around. In 2003, in the beginning of year, uh, beginning of the year, we launched our first collection, which was a fashion collection including clothing, uh, both for men and women, made out of only recycled or upcycled materials. We used things like um, old army fabrics, old tents, utility sacks, old hospital uh, wear. Um, we also had some accessories in the bag area, for example, uh, as we ca come from Finland, we use, for example, old rubber boots and created bags out of those, so, but a variety of different, different materials. Um, I guess what I really want, to, want you to take home as a take-home message is this forum is about creating focus, and it's about understanding where we can maximise impact of our collective interventions. So if you walk into the average grocery supermarket in the UK, you've probably got somewhere in the order of 50,000 products on the shelves. I can't see the end.